Hey, this is Peach Dune Man. We're gonna catch up with our old buddy Caden. What's up, man? Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what has been as he anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Fasoni's heard it. Poor kid. How did they kill him rolling off? Any opinion on the Rack Knight? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rack Knight War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? All right. Well, let's see how Liara is holding up. Yeah, like Caden said, she's probably... Well, probably hurting. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination. Her intelligence. Her strength. Her breast size. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. That's reasonable. You over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. <laughs> I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. I care about Ash. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. You know... These Mass Effect games, it's just, it's better to stick to one person. And I found that out the hard way. It's like real life, right? I'm not interested in you in that way, Leon. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye. Oh, uh, bye. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, Liara's a fine choice, too. There's there's definitely appeal on, on both sides. Um, traditionally, I don't know. In my main uh, runs of Mass Effect, I, know, I, I find the partners that are available in Mass Effect 2 much more interesting. I mean, all, your only choices here are Ashley and Liara, if you're male, or if you're female, uh, Caden and Liara. And, you know, I don't know. I don't find any of them too interesting in this game. Liara gets more interesting. I don't know. I think Caden's kind of boring. Ashley's kind of a bitch. 
Liara, well, she's not too terribly exciting either. Not yet, anyway. That's just my opinion there. Hey, Skipper. Any interest in a small drink? It's a special occasion. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General William's granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Don't tell me you're blamed for that. Not formally. Dad got passed for promotion over and over. And I think my record merits more than garrison duty on a backwater agriculture. It takes a special kind of big head to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her, too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a match set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune. <laughs> but hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. We better get going then. Seems I've got something to look forward to after we're done. More than you know. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. If you haven't talked to Dr. Tassoni, you probably should. She just lost her mom. That has to hurt. Just saying, Skipper. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. That's a long time. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. Fair enough. I've tried more organized fighting. Private armies and such. But it gets too messy. I fight best on my own. Or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me. And I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander, I... 
What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Sam. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn gad. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. Mm -hmm. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Sarah? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. See, Garrus is pretty cool. He knows what he wants to do, but he'll take everyone's thoughts into consideration. Let's see how Tali's doing. We haven't used Tali in a while. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. That's it? Oh, well, that was quick. Okay. I should go. See you later. Was that really it? I just, I want to double check. That seemed really short. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? We already talked about your pilgrimage? When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out on the Yeah, we, we've read this before. Okay. I guess Tali just really didn't have much to say this time. Okay. We can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. I want to talk about how I should go. Bye, Tali. I thought she'd have more to say. It might be kind of weird because I, I kind of like changed the order around that I usually talk to her with like having found the geth disc before like having that conversation with her, so that might have changed how the whole, the whole thing worked. That's my guess. In any case, let's make sure we're equipped the way we want. Let's see. Wow, that is really good armor. I cannot wait until we get that onto Garrus. Okay. I'm wielding the armor that I want, I believe. Um, hmm. Twelve more of that. At least thirty shields. I get six of that. Um, I'm going to stick with what I got. Maybe we'll give that to Caden or someone. I don't care about this. Uh, I'm already well equipped as far as weapons go. Um, i got a connect stabilizer. Oh, let's go ahead and put a combat scanner on this. Sniper rifle, I think I've already got... Yeah, I got that and the heat sink. Alright, so we're good. And I got tungsten rounds. Oh, do I have any... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. Uh, do I have better tungsten rounds now, though? Yes, I do. And for the pistol, do I have a better... I don't really need kinetic stabilizer on this. Kinetic stabilizer 7, might as well, I guess. And then shred around 7. Uh, let's see here, what else do I need? Oh, might as well upgrade my kinetic stabilizer here. Sweet. And then I already upgraded this. Omni tool, I like what I got so far. 
Um, when we do bring down the sky, you can get like a really rare Omni tool, and that'll be awesome. That'll help us out a lot, especially when we're going to Vermeer. Uh, all right, let's go down the line. Liara. Liara, let's give you a good pistol, since that is like your only weapon besides biotic stuff. Um, you don't really need anything else in terms of weaponry. Omni tool. I mean, I guess I might as well. Give me a better Omni tool. There you go. Biotic amp. I think I like the one you have. Armor. What about that new armor I was thinking of? It's Titan armor. No. Nope. What you got is better. All right. Uh, and then you already have Medical Interface 7, I believe I do as well, don't I? Uh, yep. Okay, good. But did I see, could she have a second armor upgrade? Yeah, she has high left level armor to have a second armor upgrade. So we might as well. Um. We can go more damage protection or more shields. I like the shield modulators. Let's go with the shield modulator. Sweet. Uh, Tali. I don't know if I've gotten any new Quarian armor recently. Probably not. Let's give you a good shotgun. Rex is already probably packing the best we got. Uh, more power for two less accuracy? Sure. Um, pistol. There you go. Oh, saw something better. All right. Uh, 16 more damage, sure. No sniper. Omni tool, we got a better Omni tool? Might as well take this one. Uh, and then what do you got? Medical interface 5, we could give you medical interface 7. Wow, I have two more of those? Great. I didn't accidentally take them off of myself, did I? Nope. Sweet. Rex. I think we've got you the Krogan armor we wanted. You can have a second thing on your thing. You got Exoskeleton that, so we can give you Exoskeleton 7. And then what else? We could give you Shield Modulator. We could give you a second Exoskeleton. I don't know if that actually works. More damage protection. It doesn't really damage with protection. Kinetic Buffer? <laughs> I kind of like the description to that. Let's go with the... Let's, what's the albase of coding? Scan protection? Now, let's go with the kinetic buffer. This will be fun. Rex is going to be tough. So weak. I can't wait to see wh how we can improve Garrus, though. I'm hoping that this is high enough level Turian armor for him to do some stuff. Oh, man. Look at that. That is amazing. And it has another slot. Whoa! And it looks freaking awesome! Karis! <laughs> you look amazing, man. Oh, man, Medical Area 7. And then we're definitely... Oh, wait, what did I do? Medical Area 7. And then we're definitely going to go with the Shield Modulator. Oh, man. This is going to be sweet. Garrus is going to be way better than before. Did I forget to re-equip Rex with weapons? I think I just did his armor. Okay. I think I gave you, like, a, okay, well, let's give you a better assault rifle if there is one. Uh, I don't think there is. I mean, we just had Rex on the team, so he's probably pretty well equipped. Plus, I gave him special ammo now for his gun. For his shotgun. Uh, pistol, you don't really need a pistol. Biotic amp, uh, we probably don't have anything better for you yet. Alright, you're good. Garrus. Alright. This is... Oh, yeah, Garrus is making such an improvement right now. We'll go ahead and stick with this assault rifle. Shotgun, pistol, sniper rifle. Wait, no, not that one. This one. Okay. And since Garrus is a sniper, maybe we should give him... Ooh, maybe we could give him some stuff, too. Hmm. Kinetic stabilizer. I don't know if that's actually going to make a difference or not. Um, oh, do I have another combat scanner? Maybe I should give that to my other gun. Uh, special ammo, do we have any more polonium rounds? We've got proton rounds. I don't care for proton rounds as much. If we have polonium rounds, that'd be cool. If not, I'll just do nothing. Alright, we'll just do nothing. 
empty. Um, yeah, I'll check out myself in a second here again. Uh, we'll go with the extra shield bonus thing. Okay, you're good, Garrus. Um, yeah, so because don't I have like an armor or a weapon upgrade that I didn't really care for? Um, let's see, I have kinetic stabilizer. I don't really need kinetic stabilizer. Oh, but I already have the combat scanner on here. Oh, and then right, my sniper rifle has a heat sink. That's right, that's right, that's right. That is correct. Okay, Caden, we might have some better armor for you, buddy. Uh, let's see here. Nope. 30 less shields, 12 more damage protection. Mmm, I don't think so. You just need a pistol. So, let's go with that. Oh, wait. Saw something better. There we go. Uh, oh, wow. I'm getting a little bit over time here. Well, I'm just going to finish equipping people, and then we'll be done with this episode. Uh, I like the amp you have. And then... Uh, nope, not Caden. Ashley. Did we get any new heavy armor? Yeah, we got new Phoenix armor. That's not as good. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, okay, we got shield modulator there. Five. Do we have a better shield modulator now? And oh, I forgot to check if we, we could upgrade Caden's medical interface. We do not have a better shield modulator so that you that's just what you're gonna have to stick with for now ashley uh and then we just give you the best of every kind of gun that we can um i'll split even on damage and uh, accuracy the assault rifle shotgun oh there we go that's uh, the one that we had rex have before uh it's going to be a slightly longer episode, but I mean, I'm just equipping. I mean, if you really want to know, I mean, you can stop watching the episode now. I'm just going to finish equipping Ashley here. I'll just show it so you can see what I'm equipping her with. And then we're going to sell all the excess stuff. And that'll be it for this episode. Oh. Um, let's go with that. I think that's it. As far as equipping goes, I wanted to check. Oh, I wanted to check Caden's medical interface because we probably have a better medical interface for Caden. Uh, medical interface five as opposed to medical interface six. There we go. All right, that's it for this episode. Next time we'll be up at the galaxy map, uh, heading back to the Citadel for um, probably one of our last times. <laughs>